Welcome to the second test movie of my LEGO Technic BB-8 droid, a LEGO Ideas project. If you'd like to support us, the address is on this sheet here. Hello BB-8. You found your voice then. And your shell's looking much better now as well. We've been developing you all year. You've been to a show? Yes, we've just been to the Great Western Brick Show in Swindon in the UK. Thank you to everyone who attended and all those who helped to organise, including the British Association who exhibited alongside us. Why are your guts on the telly? Ah, that's in the corner there is the mechanism that used to be inside you when you are running as a whole shell it's a development from your previous movie and the thing in front of it is the magnet system that I tried out for your head who's hiding behind you? shall we have a look? would you like to move out of the way? This is your alter ego. As long as he's not your dark side, that's okay. So you can see with a little encouragement, he's able to move. So we can roll. Oops, wrong way, bumped into you then. Ouch. Alright, I'll try to be more careful driving. <laughs> Let's see if I can turn around and remember how to do it. <laughs> there we go. That way. Shall I come closer? Ooh, there we go. Oop. Bit of wheel spin there. Oop, wrong way. <laughs> Takes a bit of practice driving. Now then, maybe you can see if I turn that way. Mm -hmm. Whoa, stop. There we go. Now, you can see inside the new model, if I bring you a bit closer, that makes it easier. <laughs> so inside, we've used the ring gear parts from the new bucket wheel excavator that's yellow parts in there it's not very easy to see, I need more light really and then the head is on top, same shape the shell is the same shape but the shell is in two halves so we have two ring gears either side static piece in the middle and then motors in each half for drive I've used two XL motors uh, I've actually got two LiPo batteries on here at the moment just to make sure it works uh, and two infrared receivers and of one of each infrared receiver sorry a red output drives a motor on one side and a blue output drives a motor on the other side this means that we can have more torque without tripping any of the battery current limits at the moment it's more important to get the model working and we'll see about uh, limiting the budget later. And now as well as this, you can see there are some stabiliser wheels on the bottom. Those have different positions. They can be at the top, aligned with the shell, for looking pretty. They can be in the middle, as they are here, for stabilising by limiting the amount of backward roll of the head when starting away. And they can be at a lower position still, um, to stay perfectly upright. I've yet to test BB-8 on a ramp but I think that might help to uh, stay upright better and 
we'll see, we'll do some more testing. So, that right again. Now, which way round are we? That's the right way, I think. And that's the way. Come on. So it's possible to roll, turn and spin with this model. Uh, the head movement, you can see I've put a servo there provisionally already, uh, and the head movement will be similar to uh, bb 8 static model. Um, the sound system, I used some old parts, I've got here a code pilot unit and uh, some old licensed sound bricks. Um, that's also driving a light inside. Uh, the light is uh, a modern piece, so that can stay. Um, I'm not so sure about the sound. We'll see um, whether the sound function could be in a power function sound brick. Uh, I think that's perfectly possible. So, uh, I also like to encourage all of you to uh, have a go with Lego Technic power functions and uh, try some engineering. It's been really fun doing this all year. We're up to 440 hours work now which is a scary amount of time um, an awful lot of free time and uh, yeah there's a few things I haven't done while I've been doing this but it's been great fun so I shall keep going and uh, so we need to work on reliability of uh, driving around and we need to move the the full head um, onto the split shell model and we need to move the pretty shell onto the split shell model so the final droid We'll have the manually deployable functions and tools like the uh, the thumbs up here, uh, and I'll complete the other faces as well, as well as the driving around functions and the head movement, uh, and hopefully uh, speech as well as the uh, flashing light. Uh, if you'd like to support us, here's the address: um, ideas.lego.com forward slash projects slash 126131. This is Mark Ballis for the Embellis Brick Marks channel. Uh, thank you for watching and we'll see you soon.